Okay, going for a condenser replacement on the Toyota Prius Generation 2. Um, there's a leak, which I'll show you when I've got the bumper cover off. Um, there's a big stain on the condenser, uh, just behind the grill here. Um, and it was down on gas by about 200 grams, only holds about 450 grams. Um, the stain's caused by the oil uh, in the refrigerant coming out, and then the dirt in the air sticks to that. So if you've got a big black oily stain on your condenser, you've more likely got a leak. Uh, but we'll shoot, we'll show, I'll show you that when uh, when the bumper cover's off. So get to it, and I'll get the uh, the bumper cover off. with lower trim. Hopefully we're there. There we go. These are your fixing points underneath. The three at the front were hidden by the um, short plastic underguard, which was the tricky one to remove because the spire, retaining spire clips were rusted. But we're done now. So, I don't think you guys can see from there, but you get the torch. And that is a classic condenser leak and when you look lower down it's starting to corrode on the fins as well so 10 years old exposed to all the elements in the UK I think we'll change that out give it a pressure test and uh, hopefully if that's okay we're good to go Let's see what I've got to get out of the way to get this out. Phone. <clears throat> now the system has been degassed. Like I said earlier, I think I've got 270 grams out of it. So uh, it's only got about half its contents. Uh, let's have a look. So we can undo the, the 10 mil fittings that hold the uh, high pressure pipes on there. I can find my 10 mil socket. Just got to be a bit careful. Obviously, you really only want to be doing this if you've been properly trained in air conditioning. Or get someone to degas it first. You can do the work and they can test it and regas it after. So, two 10 mil bolts. Just clamping those pipes onto the condenser. Away they come. this in brackets there brackets there <clears throat> look 
looks like it's all part of the radiator bracket. I think what I'll do, pop this cover off here for what it takes. Take one out, possibly both, I think. goes the inverter still held that foam obviously sits at the back there's our brackets let's take you and have a look at that these are our brackets part of the radiator bracket behind here is your radiator bracket holds both radiator and condenser same at the bottom so it was never going to come out unless one of these comes out of the way I reckon these could be quite rusty so I'll give them a spray see if we can get them undone Two brackets. 
There's your condenser. And just need to do the bottom screws now. See, we've got a fairly big stain there. It's starting to get quite heavily corroded, so no condenser time. Okay, got a little bit of uh, dust and feathers and bits and pieces on the uh, radiator, so I shall just cover the, uh, the aircon pipes with these gloves which I want to change anyway. The actual radiator in this doesn't look too bad. Ten years old. It's uh, looks like it's got a bit of life in it yet. Condensers are always a are always the things that take the most punishment and do the furthest forward. I should just give that a little blow out with the airline. Let's get my screws out of there so I don't blow those away. Pattern one is a good fit. gloves on and uh, see how we get on with that.
okay. So when the old one came off, the top brackets stayed on, the bottom brackets came off. So You need to use the correct oil on this because it is it's a hybrid so it uses an electric compressor and because it's an electric compressor you have to use the correct compressor oil I'm not sure if you can see that but this oil was specially designed for electric compressors because they're a three phase motor. If you use normal oil, you can cause a short in the compressor and you'll probably kill it, which could be a little bit expensive. Clean your lubricant, make that go in nice and easy. Two volts, ten mil. just slip in nice and easy shouldn't really have to force one of these joints down there there's your two fittings just nip them up with a, uh, a 10 mil Don't have to be tight, just it's not the tightness of the joint that's uh, making the seal, it's the actual o ring. You're literally just clamping them, clamping them together, and the o ring is what is doing the what is actually doing the sealing on there. Put the top cover on. clean around the uh, round where the bonnet catch goes because I use the dirt to show where the uh, to show where the catch went otherwise I'm gonna have to adjust the perhaps the striking of the bonnet to make it shut properly. All looks good underneath. Let's see if we can tuck it under the inverter so the lock lay forward.
Fella. Okay. Open the valves up. Now I'm going to put it up to about 7 bar, 100 psi. Somewhere around there will do. And what I'll do is shut the gauges off. Just put your back down over it. Shut the gauges off. Isolate it from the nitrogen bottle. Make a note of the reading that it's settled. It's a smidge over seven bar. And then I'll uh, come back to that later and have a look. In the meantime, I'll put a bit of soapy water on the on the joint. Okay, come on in. There is a join. Soapy water on it. Any leak from there would uh, show up as a load of small bubbles. Same with the bottom one. There's a lock assembly, so you can see the, the dirty mark. I'm going to put that back on there, and the same on this side and at the bottom. So that hopefully the bonnet will shut as it did before I took it apart. Now we start doing some nuts and bolts up. We come back to our pressures. And we're still sitting a uh, smidgen over seven bar. So it's holding pressure nicely, which is what I want. So what I'll do now, what I'll do now is I will finish the reassembly. You've seen the, uh, the tricky part, hopefully. Um, it's slotting the bumper cover on. There's a couple of these spire clips underneath that I want to try and try and replace or fix um, so I'm not going to video all that and um, it's just a question of sliding the bumper back over doing up some of the, the fittings in the wing underneath and in the front area here and uh, I'll show you hopefully some nice cold air coming out so see you in a bit okay gonna put the uh, Prius in maintenance mode so that I can have the engine running and check out the uh, vent temperatures. Now the uh, condenser's been in and the aircon's been regassed. So turn everything off. Without your foot on the brake, press the power button twice to bring the ignition on. Press the accelerator to the floor twice. Put your foot on the brake. Put the vehicle in neutral. Foot off the brake, press the accelerator twice back on the brake, put her in park, press the accelerator twice, brake back on, press start button. You should see problem and then the exclamation mark, that means we're in maintenance mode. So the vehicle will stay running now and won't shut itself down. I can now put the aircon on and check out the vent temperatures.
take a little while for the um, temperatures to come down. But as you can see already, temperatures are dropping nicely. Aiming for somewhere under seven or eight degrees centigrade. It's probably only about 21, 22 degrees outside today. As you can see, dropping nicely. Bumpers back on. Wheel arch liners. I only managed to break a couple of the, uh, the clips. So next time I go past the uh, Toyota dealer, I'll pick a couple up and uh, get it perfect. But uh, hopefully, you found this you found this video interesting. If so, uh, click like and I'll see you again. Thanks for watching.